growing up in the neighborhood in in Logan Heights, Chicano Park was my playground. You know, I was would always be there. Um, so, as a little boy, as a young boy, I would always see this art. I just never thought that I would get to a point where I would be able to contribute to Chicano Park. But you know, the park was my inspiration my whole life. I actually started to work on the restoration of Chicano Park in 2011. I uh, was invited by Victor Ochoa and uh, to help out do more of the labor work. And then uh, I would go home and I would start messing around with concepts and designs. I was already doing different artwork like uh, making drums and rattles and different things like that and I would paint them, but I would never thought that I would get into painting on canvases or murals. So my first piece that I painted was around the end of 2011 uh, at home. And that's when I came up with my concept of the heart, of Mexicota heart. Do, do you believe that you should step up for the Park? Well, that's, uh, that's up to the youth. Uh, and it's up to us to do a good job and to educate them and to show them the importance of Chicano Park, why Chicano Park is important, why why um, why the work was done way back when to, to create the park. And they began to build their own park. And today, almost 20 years later, that little piece of land under the Coronado Bridge in San Diego is known to people everywhere as Chicano Park. Orale, raza, vamos al parque. Yeah. It began in 1970 under the Coronado Bridge in mi barrio in San Diego where my people began to find It's up to us if we want to keep our culture alive, our traditions alive here in this community, that our next generation, our young people step up and, and take up the responsibility. Like today, I am. I'm doing. My elders have done a good job. Now it's my turn to try to keep it going. Uh, right now, our class, our creative expressions class, is actually doing a student art project honoring four elders in the community. So that's a way that we can honor them is by doing an art project, learning about them, learning about the struggle, their gifts, the things that they did for us, and then having an art show and honoring them. Um, so that's one way that we're going to be honoring them here at our school. Yeah.